The UK is the only country in the world where data has been recorded since the 1940s for every patient registered with a health service, from birth to death. Patient data can include things like what illnesses a patient has had and when, or it could be whether the patient smokes or takes regular exercise. You are listening to the heartbeat of the computer. Every instrument in this room is constantly... This information is incredibly useful to scientists and researchers who are working to find new cures for diseases that kill millions of people worldwide each year. The habit of smoking is just a part of everyday life. A cigarette is a tube of paper filled with loosely packed, chopped up tobacco which burns... In the 1950s, scientists working with patient data played a major part in uncovering the link between smoking and lung cancer. Later on, scientists used patient information to make similar links between smoking and heart disease. And in the 1970s, Researchers use patient data to firmly establish that having high blood pressure can lead to heart disease and stroke. In the 1990s, analysis of patient records helped researchers prove that taking statins could greatly cut the risk of heart attacks. But a new report by the British Heart Foundation has found that unnecessary research red tape, including in the NHS, is causing our scientists delays in their search for new treatments and cures for heart disease. Professor Nish Chattavedi, a researcher at Imperial College London's International Centre for Circulatory Health, is conducting a study which is trying to understand links between heart disease and ethnicity. Professor Chattavedi often comes across this red tape when conducting her research. So I started this, started this body of research about 20 years ago, uh, and what I wanted to find out is why some people get disease, why some groups get disease, and some people don't, some people are protected from disease. And that's been my motivating force throughout these last 20 years and it is frustrating that these barriers, increasing barriers to research records, are, are hampering that activity. In this report, the British Heart Foundation found that their researchers aren't able to make the best use of patient data at the moment because they need to get approvals to access data from lots of different organisations. It's very complicated to identify people who might want to take part in research and it's not clear what the law requires them to do to access patient data. Brian is a patient who has volunteered to take part in Professor Chattavedi's study. Brian is allowing her team to use his patient information in her research. We invited Brian to meet with Professor Chattavedi to talk about how she and other researchers are using his patient data in their work. The information that you give us, that you allow us to capture, will indeed help us to devise uh, new interventions, new treatment strategies for people like yourself, perhaps people younger than yourself at the uh -huh. time you took part in the original study, and yes, your family, perhaps who are at higher risk of certain diseases and the wider community. The information that you're going to collect from me, mm. is it protected? We keep your information that you provide in a, a, a locked environment on a safe computer that's password protected. Okay. And all the information you give us, we take your name and all your personal identifiers out, so when we analyse it, we don't know who you are. Later, we asked Brian if he had any reservations about the study using his medical records. For anyone to access my medical data, I have no problem with that. Um, particularly if it's under a controlled environment. I wouldn't like anybody come knocking on my door and ask for it, but when it's under a controlled environment, I can't see anything but benefit coming from it. Um, I'm quite happy and quite relaxed that, that my data is available to organisations like the one here. Um, I can see nothing but good. A YouGov poll by the British Heart Foundation found that more than three quarters of the UK public would be happy for their doctor to share some level of medical information about them with health researchers to help develop new treatments. I think the way the system could be improved is by having one point of access, one set of approvals, one set of forms, one committee um, that is streamlined so you know exactly who to approach to get that set of approvals. The British Heart Foundation is now calling for the following improvements to be made. The UK government should help medical researchers by creating a single approval process for accessing patient data for research, simplifying how researchers can identify potential research patients using patient records and providing a clear guide to the law on how researchers can access patient data. Without the involvement uh, of studies like this and uh, obtaining patients record, um, when illness hits you, and it'll hit everyone, don't expect a miracle cure if you go along to your GP and expect an immediate cure because without the information gathered, the cure won't be there. To read our patient data report, visit bhf.org.uk forward slash patient data.